Earth that sample from an asteroid. It will also be the largest sample return since the Apollo era. The trip to Bennu will take two years, and then the SUV-sized spacecraft will cruise around the asteroid and map its surface. And then comes a robotic high-five of sorts, when OSIRIS-REx extends its arm and vacuums up gravel and soil samples to bring back to Earth. We'll go down for a five-second contact, grab that material, bring it back. The mission with a billion-dollar price tag will take seven years if successful. Hannah Daniels, CBS News. Well, that launch is scheduled for just after 6 Memphis time at Cape Canaveral. Last week, about a mile away, a fully fueled SpaceX rocket exploded during a pretest flight. While the explosion destroyed the $62 million Falcon 9 rocket and its nearly $200 million satellite payload, engineers say the Atlas V and the Osiris Rex housed nearby were not affected and launch preparations were not interrupted. So Austin, how big is this in the space world? Well, this is this is huge. I mean, when you think about it, because this is the fact that we're we're using our technology to get out and explore. We're doing our best to find out more information mm -hmm. about our solar system, and this is very important for a couple of things. Number one, recognizing after you saw that explosion, space exploration is dangerous. It's yes. that's what, yes. part of what goes on. We knew that from Apollo one all the way back after the astronauts were killed. This is also a great opportunity for us to explore more about the solar system to find out what's out there. Because here's something if we want to take a look at the WeatherNet 3 computer real quick and show you this. On Sunday, we did not know this asteroid existed. That white line is an asteroid that passed between the Earth and the Moon. We did not know mm -hmm. this school bus size asteroid existed mm -hmm. until Monday. That's wow. pretty cool. And it, well, no, what's, what's scary about it is the fact that it passed right by the Earth on Tuesday into Wednesday, and we would have had no warning whatsoever about it. If it would have hit the Earth, it was, that was that is a cosmic cat's whisker away oh, from wow. a yeah. disaster like what we saw over in Chelyabinsk a couple of years ago with Russia. So that's why we need to explore our solar okay. system and find out more about what's out there. Yeah. So a great opportunity to learn yeah. more. Yeah. Here's what it looks like outside at this time. Not doing too bad from our tower cam. The sun emerging from behind the structural post that holds the camera up on the tower and looking out over the area around Crump and I-55 toward Riverside.